Hi, I'm Teza and this is a day in my life. So I'm going to walk you guys through a day in my life, what I do, how I got to where I am, and all of that fun stuff. So let's get started. I'm gonna take you guys to get ready with me. Obviously, I have a lot of rainbow colored clothing. I'm very into color, I think it's so fun. I'm wearing this really cute Lovers and Friends top. It's actually a little set. I have it in blue as well. It's one of my favorites. And we're just gonna go do some Zoom calls, some emails. I paired it with some of my favorite girlfriend denim, this cute little Prada bag, and an oversized blazer. We are in my new house. To give you an update, I moved across the country from New York to LA. I still have my place in New York, but we are just excited to be in a big open space. Like usually I would be showing you a lot more fun, cool things, but we have basically no furniture in here. Um, so our office is a card table. I'm going to take you guys today. We are doing a shoot with Vogue and I'm so excited. This is gonna be a big deal. And for me, this is kind of my bread and butter. I love to get really creative and just dig in and come up with something epic. So I'm gonna take you guys and show you the clothes and then we're gonna hit the road. We're gonna head up to Malibu and hopefully find some really cool, amazing place to shoot. Here is a little sneak peek at what we get to shoot today. Of course, this is extremely extra, but it's fashion month, so we get to have a little bit more fun and you know get a little bit more creative but i'll also be shooting you know my day-to-day -day outfit this will of course be much more out there and creative and i will take you guys with me on the journey So I am the CEO of Teza, which is an art brand. We have a photo and video editing app. On top of that, we also have, um, or we sell collage wall and art prints for your home. And I'm also a creative director and a photographer. So not only am I shooting looks for my own Instagram and content for other brands, but I'm also photographing and coming up with campaign ideas. And I'm also a musician. I play in a band um, called Doe, and I also have a sunglass brand. So about 12 years ago, I picked up my first camera and I fell in love with photography. I just remember I had already had this passion for fashion, if you will. I was sewing my own clothes, creating my own patterns, all that fun stuff. But then I picked up a camera and I was like, wow, I can actually bring the clothing to life. And so I started exploring that. I was working with as many brands as I could, trying to get, you know, I, anybody to hire me and let me shoot their next lookbook and things like this. I remember, um, this is a tip for any photographers out there. If you don't know how to get um, the brands to see you that you want, things that I would do, I would come up with a campaign as if the brand hired me and I would shoot this entire amazing thing and I would send it to them and say, you know, look what I can do for you. And that was kind of how I got my start in my career. And about that time is when, you know, Instagram was born. And so I just kind of loved having this community of people that I could connect with um, and be inspired by and vice versa. So that has now been, gosh, 10 years or something. Fast forward to, um, gosh, four years ago. We were just dying to move to New York, so we just packed up everything. We had no money. I don't even know what we were thinking. That was kind of really the start of everything because in New York, you have to push yourself really hard. I mean, it's expensive to live there. Um, it's hard to keep up, so it's, it's a hustle. And I loved that energy. It was just so fulfilling. But for me, photography still was my biggest passion. I really connected with my community on Instagram and just was wanting to educate everybody on you know photography because at the time it was still you know much more complicated people were keeping all their secrets there wasn't a lot of information out there 
And so I started to not only just, you know, talk about how to take better photos and find lighting and lenses and all this fun stuff, but also how to edit your photos. And so this is kind of really the early stages of how we wanted to build the Teza app was because I just felt like, you know, there were only so many apps out there, but there wasn't one that had kind of this fun flair. A lot of women were on and just like, you know, could be in the fashion industry. Everything felt a little sterile, a little cold. And so my husband and I worked day and night. We both had other jobs trying to hustle, but we were like, we want to build this editing app. Fast forward to now, it's been two years. We have 10 million downloads on the app. Um, we have a team of developers and it's just been so much fun to watch that brand grow and build itself um, over time. I think the best advice, things move fast and you gotta think quick, but done is better than perfect. And that's something that we always are referencing because I think everything's gonna always improve. The second you launch, it's gonna get better, it's gonna grow. So don't overthink it, just get started. Send the email, make the call, whatever it is, those things will change your life. Ask as many questions as you can. You know, DM people, like I would DM everybody. I would have a coffee with somebody if I could. Just get after it and ask all those questions. First thing I like to do after I wake up and check my emails, check in with my team. So many people are based in New York still, so I have to be up and at it right away. But then I definitely make sure I get a workout in. Being that I live in California now, also the fact that I can actually just run to the beach is Pretty much everything it's my favorite new hobby and it's so peaceful just to see all the surfers out there and everybody hanging out in the morning into this cute little lovers and friends top. It's a cozy little knit, perfect for California weather, um, with some baggy denim, cute little thong heels, a yellow bag to bring in some color, and a hat. Being that we are in the middle of moving, um, I have clothes all over the house. Just figuring out a way to get everything so I can see it and style it. Here are all of my shoes. I love hats. Those are one of my favorite accessories. As you can tell, I'm wearing one. And I also love boots. Boots, boots, boots. Great for making an outfit feel a little bit more edgy and elevated. I think like, you know, when you style a lot of different Things, or if I'm doing something for a photo shoot, I always want to have extra things um, that models could wear and use. Right now, I am preparing for a big shoot we have coming up tomorrow. Um, I'm sure you guys are very aware of this brand, Orium. It's an incredible jewelry company that two of my besties started. It's also sold on Revolve, so you can check it out. They have the best gold jewelry. Um, and lucky enough, they hired me and Cole to shoot their next campaign. So sometimes I'll just go through Pinterest and scroll, scroll, scroll till I kind of find some things that like make me feel inspired or I'll get on Instagram, Tumblr, um, look at old magazines, all that kind of stuff. Today for lunch, we are going to make a watermelon, tomato, burrata, avocado, balsamic salad situation. It's gonna be delicious. Presenting to you my beautiful lunch. We've got tomato, avocado, burrata, watermelon, olive oil, balsamic, and a little bit of basil and avocado. Here I am with the other half of Teza. This is my one and only husband. What's up? And we work together every day. So a huge part of our day is working on the Teza app. Um, Cole built the entire app. And we also have a team of developers. Of course, everyone works remote, so Right now, it's just the two of us in the office um, with our card table. <laughs> um, so tell us what you're working on right now. What's our newest, latest, and greatest feature? Okay, so we're working on Glitter. Been working on it for a while. Kind of trying to perfect it right now. So yeah, I kind of want to show this off. Um, so we add Glitter to 
to your photo and video. And one thing that I'm really excited about is you can add this super nice glow, which just makes it really dreamy. Um, so even if you don't want glitter, you just want glow, you can take it down and it's, it's just a really cool vibe. So that's a huge, huge part of our day. I would say at least 50% for me and yeah, like, like 90%. 90 for you. <laughs> so um, he's the other half of the Tessa team. He also takes all of my pictures. So anything that you see is taken by this guy and who taught you everything you know. I'm just yeah. kidding. <laughs> but he's amazing. We're so lucky to work together. Um, and yeah. I wanted to give you guys an inside look at what I actually shoot all of my photos on. This is the gear that we bring, whether it's going to shoot this Vogue campaign or something I'm just shooting on the street for an outfit shot. Um, I love, love, love my camera. It's a Canon 5D Mark IV and it's insane quality, so durable. Um, I love it. There are definitely other more affordable cameras you can get if you don't need something this high end. Um, if I had to choose a favorite lens, I think it's gonna be this 35 millimeter 1.4. Um, it's probably the one we use the most and everything just looks so professional and crisp um, And the lighting it's just the best lens. I love it uh, This is the Ona this cute little bag that we have had for like six years You can see the leather's been worn in but it's just so great to be able to carry stuff around um, You can see I have a comb in here So who knows why but you never know what you might need on a photo shoot So yeah, this is our gear if you head to my Instagram. I have a highlights and I talk about all this gear I show, examples of what each lens looks like, and I'm always here to help, so if you guys have questions, you can definitely reach out to me. Now we are in my bathroom and it's been a very long day. I've done a lot of shooting, running all over the place, um, planning even for tomorrow's shoot. I'm not looking my best anymore, so I'm gonna do a little quick fix up with you guys. I slipped into this little Lovers and Friends jumper, super 70s, super cute. Um, I'm gonna use this chlorine dry shampoo, pop it in, Ooh. and then it just, it's kind of like a baby powder effect. Just kind of for a messy, carefree look. And then I'm gonna finish off the look with a pair of Tezza Sunnies. These are the Stevies, and they, I love the light blue lens because you can wear them day or night, and it just kind of completes this 70s look. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to A Day in My Life. I hope you enjoyed it. You can shop all the looks that I wore in this video down in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to Revolve's YouTube channel. And if you would like to follow me on Instagram, I would love it. My handle is T-E-Z-Z-A. And if you guys wanna download the Tezza app and edit all your videos and photos and make them all fun and beautiful, definitely tag me. I wanna see it. And I hope I see you guys next time. Have a good day. Ciao.